Everett Wood. I promise to love you and respect you, to trust you, encourage you, and intercede in prayer on your behalf. I promise to devote myself to serving you and our family, and to keep Christ at the center of our relationship as we learn to do life together. I promise to laugh with you and cry with you, work out with you and rest with you. And I promise to be by your side wherever God leads us. I vow to always seek God first with you in all areas of our lives, including our relationship. I vow to love you as the amazing woman that you are. I vow to serve you in humility and be your biggest supporter. I vow not to take you or your actions or your love or anything about you for granted. I vow to find the things and the way to do the things that fill your spirit. I vow to partner with one of the most gracious, thankful, and joyful people in the world in making it a point to have fun in life and remember how truly blessed we are. In the good times and bad times, we really have great lives. Oftentimes, the problems or challenges that we have through God are actually blessings that we've just lost perspective on. I love finding that perspective with you. We are gathered here in the presence of God, family and friends. 
to unite Adam Everett Wood and Brianna Lee Flood in holy matrimony. Marriage is a beautiful union ordained by God to be honored by all. Let's start at the beginning to see that God, our awesome, omnipotent, omniscient, eternal God, transcendent of all creation and time, yet so deeply loving and personal. That great God created marriage for us. You each have to take the risk of being known before you experience the joy of being Humbly let God mold you and your spouse, turning your selfishness into selflessness. How incredible and beautiful God created marriage to be. One shining moment for one shining lifetime together in the profound mystery of holy matrimony. May God richly bless your marriage. Brianna, there is no one I trust more or have more confidence in than you. I vow to humbly and proactively work to be the man and husband God wants for you. Bree, I love you, and I'm so happy to take this step with you with 100% confidence. Not because I think you or I are perfect, but because you love God first, we resolve conflict healthily. God bless us, and we have a ton of fun. I love you, my wife. I vow to cultivate that love for the rest of our lives with God's help, and you as my teammate. Adam, I promise to listen to you, dream with you, and pray with you. Learn from you and challenge you. I promise to prioritize our marriage and communicate openly even when it's hard. I promise to forgive you more than 70 times seven while diligently seeking patience and understanding. And I promise to be by your side wherever God leads us, whether it be living in a mansion on a lake with a pontoon or giving every last penny away. Above everything, I promise to put God first in my own life and in our marriage, relying on his truth, his promises, and his faithfulness. I promise to be your loving and faithful wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. Adam and Brianna, <clears throat> having committed yourselves to each other in holy matrimony, in the presence and with the blessing and support of God and all assembled here, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Adam, you may kiss your bride. Never give up.
never give up You know, Adam and Brianna are both firstborn children. So, you know, they're natural leaders, big personalities, charisma, which is just a nice way of saying they're bossy. <laughs> you guys are such different people, but you both have such great strengths and encourage each other in those strengths. And you're each other's greatest cheerleaders. And I just encourage you to keep doing that because that is like, the biggest thing in a marriage. And I know that you're gonna do such amazing things together for the kingdom and just for all these people, like all of these people are here for you guys. Like there's so many people that love you and I know that you will continue to serve them as well. There's a lot of people here today that have spent a lot of time waiting for Adam to get somewhere. <laughs> but the one thing he was always good at was having a great time and we did a lot of that we had a lot of great memories I'm so thankful for the times that we've had together the friendship we built dude uh, we have some great memories that we've had and we're gonna have some more I know that Adam's a tough guy and all but he has some soft spots one of them being free those soft spots aren't all bad because without them we wouldn't be here today but I thought I'd tell you guys something that I told Adam maybe a week or so ago and I told Adam that he was my hero there was just something about Adam where I was like, man, I want to be like that guy, you know? Like, and I think that was a lot of us for us younger brothers, you know? Adam was the football star, you know? Oh, man, I want to be like Adam. He was, you know, he could, he could talk to anybody. He, he was anybody's friend. I want to be like Adam. And Bree just has this infectious thing about her. You know, it's the same way, you know? You're like, oh, man, I want to be her friend. I want to get to know her. That's how Adam was. He always had our back. He was there to support us. And that goes for recess outside break time basketball, but also in the important things in life. He's just the best big brother I could ever ask for. Thank you, Adam. So thank you, Adam, for the good and the bad that you've taught us. And uh, bless you both. Adam and Bree learned in unbelievable ways how to follow God's plan. Bree, you showed so much patience, so much trust in God's plan. And Adam, you went through your journey of learning to surrender not to your plan, but to the plan of God. And at the end of the day, it's, it's fun for me to hear how many of your boxes Adam checks, Bree. But the great part is, is that he checks all those and so much more. Because this is from God and you check all those and so much more for Adam. Because it's better than you could even dream of the two of you being together. And we all see that. We all saw that when you guys were just friends. And we're so happy to be here today to celebrate this great, great occasion. I know Adam and Bree's marriage will last for their whole lives. But today is the day that a lot of hard work from both you, Adam, and Bree is paying off. You are now married. Congratulations. God has a lot of great things planned for you as you guys now both start your life together. To my firstborn son, Adam, I am so proud of you and pleased with you and thankful that you are my son. And to Bree, my new daughter, Bree, you get the award for patience and perseverance for hanging in there until Adam finally figured out that his wife was right in front of him. 
but I truly could not have asked for a better wife for my son. You are a dear, sweet child of God and a real joy with a passionate heart for Jesus. I have a few words that come to mind when I think about Brianna. A couple of them are persistence and perfection. She uh, perfected the left-handed layup and a lot of other things uh, in high school and beyond. She goes out of her way to be compassionate to people. She would give her shirt off her back for anybody, anytime. To Adam and Brianna, to a very long and loving and fruitful marriage. Take back my life. It's time to go my own way. I believe. Whoa!